Unraveling the mysteries behind iconic hits often reveals surprising stories. Today, we delve into the origin of the police's classic rock san. Drummer Stuart Copeland recently spilled the beans on his initial thoughts about the track and how it transformed from what he considered a throwaway song to a historical breakthrough. In this exclusive video, we're taking you back to the late 70s, exploring the inception of Roxanne and how it defied expectations to become the police's breakthrough hit. From the punk rock ethos clashes within the band to the unexpected inspiration behind the song, we're peeling back the layers of this musical masterpiece. Stuart Copeland paints a vivid picture of the police's struggling days, reminiscing about a time when they were struggling and starving. In 1978, Sting wrote Roxanne without any grand plan, catching Copeland off guard. The drummer recalls, it was certainly not a police song because we were still theoretically a punk band. Copeland, a staunch advocate for punk rock, clashed with Sting and guitarist Andy Summers, who envisioned exploring sounds without limitations. I was the one cracking the punk whip, he admitted, emphasizing the internal debate within the band. While Copeland insisted on staying punk, Sting and Summers were eager to break free from the genre's constraints. Sting, in a clandestine move, shared his vision for Roxanne with Summers, leading to Copeland reluctantly getting involved. Transforming the track with a distinctive drum beat, Copeland turned it into a police song, albeit one he initially dismissed as a throwaway song and not aligned with punk aesthetics. The turning point came when Stewart's brother and band manager, Miles Copeland, stepped in. Convinced of Roxanne's potential, he took the song to a record company, declaring, folks are going to love this. Despite Stewart's skepticism, the record company agreed to release it as a single, and the rest, as they say, is history. Roxanne became the police's breakthrough hit, paving the way for their future success. What was initially considered a throwaway song turned into a timeless classic that resonated with audiences worldwide. In a revealing interview from May 2023, Sting shed light on the inspiration behind Roxanne. Staying in a budget hotel behind the Gare saint Lazare in Paris, he found inspiration in the juxtaposition of elegance and the reality of sharing space with prostitutes. The poster of Cyrano de Bergerac, prominently featuring the name Roxanne, sparked the creative flame that led to the birth of the iconic track. What are your thoughts on this surprising revelation? Drop a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe for more exclusive musical insights on Ree's channel.